I started at Binance almost three years ago as the chief technology officer, and I oversee tech at Binance. And so what I'm here for is to make sure that the platform scales well, that we can attract millions or hundreds of millions of new users, and very important, do all of this in a way that is secure, compliant, and follows the, all the regulations in the various jurisdictions where we operate. That's fantastic, thank you so much. And you know, just touching on um, kind of the accessibility of the product, you know, the, the user base has grown exponentially, um, in, in no small, small part down to the uh, ease of use of the, of the platform. What do you think can be done to drive that even further with regards to onboarding new users that are beginners in crypto, they're taking their first steps? You know, Binance Lite, for example. What are, the, what are the core components that will help kind of onboard the next 100 million? That is such a fantastic question. And it has several layers that we can talk about. Uh, at a very high level, uh, the first question is, do we even have the products and services that are appealing to the next generation of users, the next set of users? And not all of them will be here to trade, frankly. Some of them will be here just to buy and hold, or some of them might be here to just do remittances, a variety of things. So we need to be able to do two things at a very high level. Number one, make sure that our current platform is very easy and straightforward to use. If you want to make your first trade, if you want to make your uh, uh, first loan that it's very easy to use. But also, equally important, do we have the products that appeal to people who might not want to trade? And we have a couple already. They are, you know, one of them is earn, one of them is pay. And to make sure that these two products also can be very simple, very straightforward to use and realize the promise that's in the product. And so we have some work to do. The community globally uh, has, has, has grown hugely. How important do you think Binance Blockchain Week is in terms of getting everyone together, whether it's users, industry leaders, um, colleagues, how important are these events in, in, in just sort of opening that dialogue? These are super, super important. As you well know, that most of the work that we do is remote. Most of the people in this industry are all over the world working independently of each other. And events like this bring the community together. And so we are already a community. We are already a community that's remote, that can work remotely, that connect remotely, et cetera. But we still love the personal interaction. Like I still love being able to see you in person. Uh, and events like this bring people together. And BBW is the premier event for this. Uh, we are the world's biggest exchange and when we host an event, it draws a lot of people together. And even though we are the ones hosting the event, we are here in service for our partners, our users, and our community. And so I'm excited that, that we have these events, that we hold them, and that it's just so great to see all the community come together uh, physically in a location. I couldn't agree more. It's great to see everyone in real life and everyone exchanging ideas and, and, and networking and sharing. Um, in terms of tech, what are the latest technological innovations that Binance is exploring to enhance scalability and security on the platform? This is again such a multi-layered question <laughs> and uh, you know me being a technologist, me being a tech nerd, I can go on and on about this. So I'll try to keep myself short. Um, one of the two big things that you expect of any exchange are scale and speed. Uh, scale, meaning can we withstand uh, new growing volumes, new user interest, et cetera? Can we deal with spikes that are two to three times what we've encountered before? So the, one of the things is scale. Another one is speed. Like while we are built out for, for scale, you expect the responses from the exchange to be fast. If you're on the phone looking at something about to place an order, you expect it to be lightning fast. And so those are two things that immediately come to mind. And for that, uh, we have deep partnership with Amazon's AWS, as you know, and we work with them on optimizing all parts of this. A third area, which is nascent, and it's all the rage, is of course AI. And whether you know it be GPTs or LLMs or you know classic old school neural nets, um, that's also a emerging and amazing area for us. And we we are across the spectrum on AI. We do, you name it, we do it all. 
and we do it in various different runs. So you might be doing something simple like optimizing when machines come online, how to provision demand, et cetera, to something more complex, such as chatbots so that we can reply back to our users, to even more complex, such as monitoring transactions for fraud and uh, illegal activities, et cetera. So AI is a big area of focus for us. And there also, we have a deep partnership with Amazon or AWS uh, to help us go to the next level. Fantastic, it's great to hear that security is ramping up as, as ever. Um, and you know, in terms of, of AI, I, I, it's growing at such, a, at such a rate that, you know, we, we, where do you see the possibilities <coughs> in, in say a year, two years? At the scale at which we operate, so we already are at 225 million plus registered users. And as you know, as you talked about earlier, we expect to onboard a lot more people, the next 100 million, the next 200 million. At that scale, it's just not possible to do it without AI. And so you will see us use AI as a force multiplier everywhere. AI is not replacing our engineers. AI is not replacing our operation staff. What it is doing is it is enabling them to be 10x, 20x more efficient in certain parts of their work. I'll give you an example. Uh, we look at, uh, for fraud protection, uh, we look at you know when people send bank statements and the like, we look at them. And even the trained agents often cannot spot the place where it has been doctored. But the AI can. The AI can, and it can flag it. Why? Because it's seen thousands of examples, uh, way more than any one agent can see. And so that is an example of a realm where AI can be a force multiplier for the agent to flag something for their benefit and say, aha, take a look at this, and so on. And so you will expect uh, us to bring AI to bear in every possible arena where we operate. And that is absolutely needed to operate at that scale. Fantastic to hear that. Um, the theme of this year's Binance Blockchain Week is momentum. There's 4,000 people coming to, to Binance Blockchain Week. Bitcoin is pushing for an all-time high <coughs> at the event. Um, uh, so I wondered if, how would you sum up 2024 in terms of the momentum of the industry? 2024, I mean, the word momentum is very apt. What a year, what a year, right? If you, if you think about 2024, both, both for the industry and for us at Binance, um, as you said, Bitcoin, Ethereum both hit all-time highs this year. Uh, the SEC approved ETFs, and that generated a lot of interest. Uh, you know, from even institutional in investors who are somewhat jaded, even they are excited. A uh, lot of very interesting startups and projects uh, got funded or received more funding and are in progress. So just a lot of exciting events on that front. For Binance, we also have momentum. I mean, to call out a few milestones, um, you know, I already said that 225 million plus registered users and growing. Um, settlement agreement with the US uh, agencies that puts a period of uncertainty behind us and has a clear path forward in a regulated, compliant way. Um, the adoption of AI and the accelerated use of AI in all parts of our, uh, of our ecosystem Lots of things. So I would, I would completely use the word momentum, which you, you used. Fantastic. Well, very well summed up there. Thank you, Rohit. I mean, it is. It, it, it feels. It feels like the, the the industry is is about to go into a new era, almost. Um, what's a prediction that you have going forwards for 2025 and beyond for the platform? You put me in a spot there because you asked for a prediction, but I'm going to bend it and give you two, if you don't mind. I'll start with one. If you could have one, just I'll give you one, which is compliance with regulations is going to turbocharge a lot of the exchanges. The exchanges that can comply with regulations, that can follow the rules like us, will see tremendous growth. Um, that's a prediction, and it's, it's uh, something that we are working hard towards. If I may have another one, I'll say that the use of AI and the use of AI and bringing up services beyond, beyond trading are going to cause a lot more people to be interested in crypto and blockchains and so on, much, much beyond 
what you see today. So those are my two. Fantastic. Rohit, thank you so much for your time. It's been a pleasure sitting down with you. Thank, thank you, Arnand. It was a pleasure to be here. Thank you.